Hi, I'm Emily from Homemade Emily Jane. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that we all hate to love, seam rippers. If you've been sewing for even just a short amount of time, you've probably already had to unsew a seam or two. So today I'm going to share with you three different kinds of seam rippers and how they work. Let's get started with the most common kind, like this. You've probably seen seam rippers like this before with the little red ball at the point. Um, I actually have quite a few of them. Um, as you can tell, they're definitely the most common. Um, this one actually came with my sewing machine. You can see um, it's a case for it, and then when you pull it apart, it becomes the handle. So you probably have one of those laying around somewhere in your sewing area. Um, so I'll show you how it works. These simple seam rippers can be used a couple of different ways and there's of course different options. I really like this one made by Clover um, because it has a really nice grip for me to use, but they all work about the same. So I'm just going to use this one to show you. Um, you might have some different seams starting out with, so I've started my samples with a couple different options. So here's one method where the seam is pressed open and here's one where the seam is pressed to the side. And so how you use the ripper is going to be different depending on how you pressed. So I'll start by showing the version with the seam pressed open. So to use the seam ripper, you're gonna start by tearing apart your seam and just looking at the stitches. I used white thread here so that you can hopefully see it against the blue fabric. Um, so now you'll take your seam ripper and insert it in between some of the stitches and rip it apart as you go. Once you get a good start to it, you can rotate your project so that your blade is going away from you and use the knife inside of your um, rotary, inside of your seam ripper to um, gently cut your threads as you go. As you can see, it goes rather quickly when you do that way. You just want to be careful. And voila, we are trimmed. Um, one thing about this way that I don't like is how it creates all of this little white fuzz. Um, so then you would have to go back and pick those out if you care to. Now here's a version with your seam pressed to the side. Um, there are a couple different ways that you could do this. One way that I'm going to show you is to very carefully use the sharp point of your ripper and cut through every four or five stitches. Um, just take the piece of thread with your seam ripper. Once you've gotten to the end, you should be able to tear it apart. Um, and then you've got one side with one string that's easy to pull out and then the other side has some little scraps that you can try to get the thread off. So that's two different ways that you can use a simple seam ripper. The next seam ripper type that I'm going to share with you today, a scalpel seam ripper. Um, this one has an exchangeable blade and then I also have another kind of scalpel that has a blade that pops out like that. Um, and I will show you how these work. I've got two different options here. This one um, has a little bit of a sturdier handle, a very sharp blade that can be changed out. Um, and it comes with a cap that can be removed um, so that you're not having a sharp blade floating around your sewing room. Um, and then I also have this other option that has a plastic grip that's a little easier to hold on to and a retractable blade that comes in and out. The downside of this is that the point isn't as sharp, um, but it definitely has a really neat design. So for this example, I'm going to use my Havels one. Um, I have another version where the seam is pressed to the side. And I will show you, this is my favorite way to, to, press a, to rip a seam, is when the seam is pressed to the side, you can very carefully hold the pieces open and then glide your seam ripper um, right along that seam. And just like that, it comes apart so quickly 
and so easily you do have all of those little um, white flecks but on one side the back you'll have one string that you can hopefully just pull off all at once and that saves a bit of time so that's how you use the scalpel if your seam is pressed to the side I do have a version where your seam is pressed open um, you'll see you can do a similar thing where you're you tear the stitches apart at the top to get this started run the blade away from your body to try to get it through the top start pulling and then you should be able to very carefully just slice along that seam cutting the threads but being very careful not to cut the fabric so this version does take a little bit longer than pressing to the side um, I've been known to repress seams if I know that I need to use a seam ripper and just turn them all to the side. <laughs> and the final kind of seam ripper I'm going to show you today is this electronic seam ripper, the Quick Ripper. Um, this one is battery powered with a AA battery and it works a lot like hair clippers work except on your fabric and thread. It sounds like that. It runs like uh, hair clippers. So little teeny tiny blades in there. Um, and I will show you how it works. I have a version with the seam pressed open. And then this one is pressed to the side. But I've actually taken it and just pressed it flat a little bit. So now it's um, pretending as if it has never been pressed. So I'll do this one first. You're going to start it out and just rip, this, rip the first couple stitches out. And then turn this on and just watch as I go. So as you can tell, that's pretty pain-free and easy to trim. It really does a good job at getting just your threads and not really cutting into the fabric, which was my main concern when I first saw it. Um, it does have all those little linty pieces though. So next up, I will show you with a seam pressed open. We're going to try doing the same thing with the electric one. And we're done. Um, as you can see, that kind of left one piece of string here on the back that we can pull out and then get the little linties off um, like we've been doing for the others. So now we have all of our seams ripped and all of our seam rippers that I used to show this demonstration. I am super curious to know which one of these seam rippers is your favorite. Um, maybe I've convinced you to try a new one out. I personally really, really love my um, metal scalpel style seam ripper, especially because I like to press my seams open and you saw how fast that was. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want a link to any of these products that I showed, I'll go ahead and put my affiliate links in the description below. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to check out homemadeemilyjane.com for lots more quilting tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching.